What's up my friend, welcome back to the channel. Today by popular demand we are making the Aviation, a cocktail that's very polarizing. I personally love it the classic way, even though a lot of people will argue it is completely unbalanced. And I can understand why they say that. So that's the reason why today we're not just gonna make one cocktail, we're gonna make three actually. We're gonna start with the classic recipe, which I love. Then we're gonna make the Truffles on the Rocks Aviation, which I believe are the specs that will please most of the palate, even the one that say they don't like the cocktail. That's a bold statement. I hope it's gonna work. Let me know in the comments down below if you're part of those people and if I succeeded to make you like this cocktail a little more. And then we're gonna end this video by clarifying a classic aviation with milk because you asked for it. I'm a man of my people, so we're gonna do that. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. All right, so the aviation. A cocktail was introduced in the cocktail world around the 1960s. Probably a little bit before that, but we don't know the exact date. What I believe is very interesting about this cocktail is it was very popular at a certain time. Then it got completely forgotten. And then with the cocktail renaissance, it got back in trend and soon lost its popularity back again. I think we can attribute that to the creme de violette that's incorporated in the cocktail. A lot of people will say that because of that ingredient, the cocktail will taste like soap. I personally disagree. I love creme de violette and that's probably one of the ingredients in the recipe that makes me love this cocktail so much. The second reason I think I love this cocktail that much is because it includes two ingredients that when I started making cocktails were really hard to find, so it kind of gave to that drink a little je ne sais quoi, something very intriguing, and I really loved it, and I never stopped liking it since then. So, to make the classic cocktail today, guys, we're gonna need dry gin, maraschino liqueur, creme de violette, and freshly squeezed lemon juice. First, in a cocktail shaker, we're gonna pour two ounces or 60 ml of London dry gin. To that, we're gonna add half an ounce or 15 ml of maraschino liqueur, quarter of an ounce or 7.5 ml of creme de violette, and three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Now we can fine strain our cocktail in a cocktail coupe. And we're gonna garnish the drink with a cocktail cherry. And this is it, this is how we make a classic aviation. Cheers. Hmm. I love this cocktail. When I said in the intro that I can understand why a lot of people will think this is completely unbalanced, I think it is a little dry. The sharpness of the acidity is really dominant. It is hot. When I say that, I mean the gin is very present and the burn of alcohol is also very there even though it's a sour cocktail. So maybe that's the reason why a lot of people think it is unbalanced. I love it that way. I think in the early days of cocktails, cocktails were really strong. Like if you think of an old style gimlet, for example, it was just like a lot of gin and just a little bit of lime juice and simple syrup or sugar. And it was like really like a manly, refreshing cocktail. I think this falls in that category, but I understand that for modern palates, it can be a little bit like, eh, I'm not sure if it's balanced. And that's the reason why I tweaked the specs for our version of it. I added some ingredients. I rounded things up. I think it is less acidic, more balanced, and delicious. So let's do our version of the aviation. For Truffles on the Rocks aviation, we're gonna need dry gin, Blanco tequila, Marschino liqueur, creme de violette, freshly squeezed lemon juice, simple syrup, and bitter orange saline solution. First, in a cocktail shaker, we're gonna pour 1.5 ounces or 45 ml of dry gin, half an ounce or 15 ml of Blanco tequila, half an ounce or 15 ml of Marischkin liqueur, quarter of an ounce or 7.5 ml of creme de violette, one teaspoon or five ml of simple syrup, 
3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of lemon juice and 3 drops of bitter orange saline solution. We're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Now we can fine strain the cocktail once again in a cocktail coupe. And we're also gonna garnish it with a cocktail cherry. And this is it, this is how we make our aviation. Cheers. This one is very smooth guys and I love it and I hope you're gonna like it too. I think it is more balanced than the classic version for two main reasons. First one being the small addition of simple syrup. It really makes the acidity of this drink something more balanced. It is not as sharp, as strong than in the classic one. It is more mellow. Then the split base spirit. I think the first version, the classic aviation is too hot. When I say that, I mean the gin is too strong because two other components of the drinks, the, all the sweet components of the drink of the classic one are alcohol as well. It really makes of this drink something very boozy. So with two full ounces or 60 mils of gin in there really makes of the cocktail something that's very burning when you sip on it. So here, because tequila is not as strong in ABV, it's just a little lower in ABV. And because it is a sweet plant-based spirit, it is very mellow. So I think it really compensates for that fact that the gin is very sharp, dry and strong. I think it works really well, even though it is not an orthodox mix of spirit. Overall, I think this is a great drink, really well balanced, with the addition of the uh, orange bitter selling solution, really makes all the flavors pop, but we still get the floral notes from the violet liquor. And if this is what you hate about this cocktail, bear with me. Next, we're gonna milk wash the cocktail, and when we do so, we change a lot of flavors in the drink. So maybe we're gonna get rid of that soapy flavor that you don't like in the violet liquor. There's only one way to find out. We have to do it, and we're gonna do it right now. For the clarified aviation, we're gonna need London Dry Gin, Maraschino Liqueur, Creme de Violette, Lemon Juice, Simple Syrup, and Whole Milk. First, in a glass, we're gonna pour two ounces or 60 ml of dry gin, half an ounce or 15 ml of Maraschino Liqueur, quarter of an ounce or 7.5 ml of creme de violette, one teaspoon or five ml of simple syrup, and three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then in another glass, we're gonna pour one ounce of whole milk, and we're gonna pour the cocktail over the milk. I always say that when I make clarified cocktail, it is very important to pour the cocktail over the milk and not the other way around for a better result. Now for the filtration process, we're gonna pour our mixture over a rinsed coffee filter and we're gonna let that drip for about one minute. It's gonna allow the curdles to settle at the bottom of the filter and it's gonna make for a better clarification. After about one minute, we're gonna take our funnel and we're gonna place it over a clean glass and we're gonna pour our cloudy bits over the unfiltered mixture. Then we can let it filter all the way through and we're gonna end up with a perfectly clarified aviation. So at this point, all we have to do is to take that liquid, pour it into a mixing glass, fill it up with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions. Then we're gonna pour that into our cocktail glass, garnish it once again with a cocktail cherry, and this is it, this is how we make a clarified aviation. Cheers. Mm. Mm. In this case, because of the milk washing, we really smoothens the rough edges of the cocktail. So the acidity is very mellow. Then we get beautiful botanicals from the gin. 
we still get a little bit of the maraschino liqueur, but the soapy flavor that a lot of people will think because of the violet liqueur is really tapered down, almost like not there anymore. The small addition of simple syrup just round things up. The whey from the milk that is now in the cocktail also adds a little bit of acidity, but it's not as sharp as lemon juice, for example. So I think it is perfectly balanced. And because the fact that the violet liquor is not as there as it would be in the classic version, I think this is a great option for people that don't like creme de violette, but still want to have all the ingredients in the cocktail. All right, guys, so this is it. This is how we make the aviation, our version of it, and a clarified one. I hope you're gonna like at least one of them. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Also, if there's another classic you'd like us to clarify, hit me up in the comments with your suggestions. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. I'm gonna go comment. I like them all. <laughs> Bye. A clean drink vessel.